Well, as we know, moms do it all, right? From the small things like making lunch and helping with homework to big ones like life advice when it comes to raising our own children. But one group of uh, moms is adding tackling uh, climate change to the to-do list. And meteorologist and climate specialist Lisa Rafa is here to preview a special segment she's working on for Mother's Day. Yeah, so Elisa, what are science moms? Tackling climate change is no small task. A huge <laughs> one. And it was so nice to talk to this mom today who is a climate scientist herself and along with some other lady climate scientists, they're taking on climate change. Science Moms is a nonpartisan organization that's made up of climate scientists that have been studying our atmosphere, oceans, and ice caps for decades, but they also double as moms. Now their goal together is education and conversation. The team provides resources for parents to learn more about climate change and ways to take action. Some tips as easy as swapping out things at home, like using an electric stove instead of gas or adding solar panels, ways to weatherize your home as well. They also help parents uh, reach out to some local leaders if they have concerns about diesel school buses. One of their videos even compares school buses to cigarettes, showing the similarities in the toxins that our kids are breathing in. Here's Dr. Melissa Burt, and she's a climate scientist at Colorado State University. We have this climate action plan that really gets moms and parents to start interrogating at their local level, at your local school district level, and to ask them, you know, what are you doing about these diesel buses? And are you switching from diesel buses to electric buses? And there are a number of different incentives that are out there for school systems to make that change. Now, Dr. Burt is a renowned climate scientist that specializes in the Arctic, which is the fastest warming and most rapidly changing place on Earth. So I asked her, how does she stay optimistic? How does she find hope in solutions? And she says her focus is all on her daughter. By starting a conversation, by getting other parents to see the importance and the urgency of climate change, that we can take those individual steps that lead to collective efforts that can, can really make the change. And also, you know, being a mom, I don't want my kid to say, mom, like, why have you done nothing about this issue, right? And so I have hope really because she pushes me even more to continue to work on this. It's so sweet. Their website includes so many pictures of these mothers and their children and what they're doing to make sure their life is cleaner and more mm -hmm. sustainable because we're setting this table for them for years going forward. Right, and a lot of big changes can be made by the seemingly little ones yeah. that we all can do at home and getting the kids involved and that is fun for them. Yeah, and education is especially key with all the kids coming up to understand that yeah. and what they're looking at. Yeah. And I know Charlotte City Council, uh, they just purchased a lot of bu electric buses going yes. on in the, in the forward in the future. Yeah. All right, for Elisa's full interview with Dr. Melissa Burt, Make sure you start your Mother's Day off with Queen City News now airing this Sunday from 6 to 9 a.m.